Are you fully optimizing your YouTube channel? Really? I'm Ray the Video Guy and today I'm going to show you how to optimize your channel and make sure that you get more views and more subscribers. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah I'm Ray the Video Guy. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah I'm Ray the Video Guy. Okay, so here I am inside a channel that I quite often showcase to other people because it's one that does a very good job in setting up their entire channel properly so that they use every feature and that people can really get a good experience. It's for Gillette and Gillette is the razor company and you can see that at the top here they've got their banner, they've got the links to Gillette.com, their Facebook, their Twitter and I believe this is a, uh, like a, uh, a help desk link there. And then in here, you'll see that they've got right here, a trailer video down here. They've got all sorts of sections that are broken out. That makes sense. They've got some vertical, some horizontal. So it's interesting. And you'll notice that they use thumbnails that match up in each section. So you can see like this one here, they use the same text. They use the Gillette on the side on all their videos. And some of them use this cartoon style. So this is the manscaping one. So they use it all in this kind of cartoony style, except for that one there. This one here, they show the close-up of the face and the, uh, the, the text there, but all of them have that Gillette on the side. And so that's what I wanted to go over is what should be in a channel to make sure that it not only looks good, is well optimized, and so that when users come here, they can really be uh, feel like they're getting organized information. Now, let's look at a typical channel. This is a typical channel. Now, I showcase this one here because uh, it's actually one that I created years ago that I've never done anything with. I just kind of made a couple of videos, so there's nothing here. But this is the perfect example of a bad channel, one that has nothing. There's no banner. There's no links. There's, there's actually 151 subscribers, which is kind of odd, actually. Um, and then down here, they just got two videos. Okay, so this is the channel versus this one here where you have all this great information. And so what can we do to make a great channel? Well, let's look at mine right here. This is the Ray the Video Guy channel. And just like with Gillette, I've got my trailer here. I've got sections down here. And each one of the sections is not only labeled with what it is, but they also, for the most part, have nice descriptions in here that can help you to be found when people do search. So all of the things that you do here are not just great for organizing the channel so people can come here and go, oh, here are the free giveaways. Here are the YouTube tricks and tips. Here's the marketing support products. Here are the uh, webinars. Here are the video production tips. And here are the Movo video reviews. So they can come in and they can see all of that. And that makes it nice and easy for people to get through. But it also allows you to put a lot more information so that people can find you in search. And that's why, you know, my channel is not a, a massive channel, but it is one that people can find online when they're looking for it. And it's got a lot of, of power because of that. So when we put something on here and we try to rank it, it usually ranks pretty well because the channel is pretty well set up. So let's take a look at exactly how we do this. Now I'm actually in the editable section of the uh, channel here, whereas if you can see with Gillette here, this is what the viewer would see. And in the case of this one here, this is one for somebody who's logged in. So I'm logged into my own channel when we're seeing this. Now starting at the top, of course, you wanna have an icon here. And if you need to change that, you can come in here and you can hit this button. And this will allow you to go over to your Google account and make the change. So if we hit edit, You'll see it's going to open up inside of Google Plus and we can upload or use one of our existing video or images to put in for the icon there. Now YouTube actually does look to see if you have an icon and if you have a background so that they can give you other tools. If you don't have these two things, they'll actually not give you some of the tools that you want to use inside your channel, things like thumbnails and whatnot. Okay, so now this is our channel background, also called the channel art. And uh, this is what we call the one channel channel art. And what they mean by one channel is this image here, even though it looks like a thin wide image, is actually a full TV sized image. Uh, it's a, like a 4K sized image or, or no, it's a 2K sized image. And what it does is when it's viewed on a television, 
you'll be able to see the entire version of it when it's viewed on the website. You'll see nice and wide here. And when it's viewed on a tablet, it might go from here to here. And then on a phone, it might just get a little bit in the center here. But it allows you to use the same background in all of those different experiences so that everybody can view your channel and still see that. But if you want to make a change to that, all you have to do is click this button here, hit edit links or channel art. In this case, we want the channel art. That's going to bring this up here, and it's 2560 by 1440. That's the size we want there. And the max file size is 6 megabytes. And so all you have to do is either upload from your computer, or you can go to the gallery in photos. So you see the photos here. I've got other ones loaded. And then this is the gallery of things that you can use. And you can see some of my past ones. This is another one that I did before. Uh, I'm not even sure what some of these are, but these are images that I've uploaded in here. But you can also upload a photo by clicking this here and choosing one from your computer. Obviously, I've already got one uploaded. It's a new one. And so we'll leave that as it is. And then as we move down the channel, the next thing that you're going to want to add is a channel trailer. Now, a channel trailer can work in a couple of different ways. One, you could just have your most popular video here. So it's the first thing you want people to see. Now, if you really want to go all out, this is your opportunity to make a custom video specifically for people visiting your channel. So in my case here, this one welcomes them to the channel, tells them what's down below, tells them what they can expect, how often we post new videos, things like that. And so it's a very specific video shot just for uh, the trailer. And actually, this is, um, this is for returning. We're actually going to click this here. This is the one that's actually for just the people visiting for the first time. So you can see Ray the Video Guy, Video Marketing for All. And we just put this one up the other day. Uh, it's only got 736 views so far, but the only people seeing this are people that come to the channel. So that's a pretty good number, especially when it's in a very short period of time. It says a month ago, it wasn't even, it was just a, about two weeks ago we put that up there. Uh, and so you can see here it's got links. So we made sure that unlike a traditionally optimized video, we made sure that all these links are right up at the top so that people can click on them right away. And of course, they can still read more and see some of the things down here. But we wanted to make sure that these links were right at the top and not covered by just a, a block of text. And uh, of course, if you want to put more text and more information, you're certainly welcome to do that. We chose to do that so people would have access to Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest right at the very top there. And they could share the video, etc. Okay, so all you have to do to put a trailer in here is we're going to hit the change trailer button here. And when we do that, you'll be able to bring up your videos. You can either enter a URL, you can use an uploaded video, etc. And for some reason, it's not pulling them up. But normally, you'll see all your videos here. You'll probably just have to wait a second for that to load. But once you find the video that you want, just choose one of the videos from your channel, again, or put a link in there. And then you can hit Save. We're going to hit Cancel. And down below this, we have the sections. Now, you'll see that the sections here are very specific categories. So for instance, these are all the videos that give away free products like backgrounds and images. Down here we have YouTube tips and tricks. Down here we have YouTube video marketing support products and reviews. Down here we have the webinars on video marketing. Down here we have video production tips, Movo video equipment reviews, and then we have some older ones, which are the Marketing Minute and the iMovie Tutorials. Now with this here, for instance, this is an older one, this iMovie Tutorials, and this one's an even older one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete this. And the way we do that is, again, you'll see there's a little pencil next to each of these. It opens this up here, and we're going to hit Delete, and that's going to remove that one out of there. Now if I want to add a section, I'm going to hit Add a Section here, and then I can choose a few different things. Popular Uploads, which will be all your most popular videos just uploads in general, liked videos, posted videos, live now. So if you've got videos that go live, you're actually going to have a section that'll have the live videos in it. Upcoming live streams, if you've made events for a live video, past live streams. Down here, you've got created playlists, which is going to put a collection of playlists on one section. Single playlist, this allows you to pull in one playlist, just like these here. All of these sections that you see here are playlists that we've pulled in as a section. Saved playlists, multiple playlists, which again will allow you to put multiple playlists in a section there. Posted playlists. Down below this, you've got subscriptions, custom grouping, recent activity, and recent posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose, uh, let's go with the created playlists just to test this out here. And again, you can go with a horizontal or a vertical view. The choice is yours. We're going to go in this case with the horizontal because that's what we're using on most of the channel here. We're going to hit Done. And you'll see now we've got this section that's all different playlists. Okay. Again, if we, don't, if we decide, you know what, this doesn't work, we can come back in here and we can delete this playlist out. 
We can add another one in here and say, let's say this one we could go with, um, oh, let's do the multiple playlists. And then down here, again, you can choose horizontal or vertical. And then we can add the playlists that we want to put in there. So we can find a playlist if we want. And so we would come in here and we would say we want to do, oh, let's say stock social media tools. Okay, so these are all videos about social media tools. And then maybe we want to add in Hangouts that we've done, okay, so from the old days. And then we want to do the Marketing Minute. And again, we hit Done once we choose the one. Oh, give this a name first. So we're just going to go Favorite Playlist, something like that. Doesn't matter because I'm going to delete it in two seconds. So we come in here, and so now we've got this section in here. If we hit Done, we've now got a section of the playlist that we choose. And again, we're going to hit delete on that because we don't need to have that in there. But we may want to put in another section. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to go with oh, a single playlist. And so now, again, we can choose horizontal or vertical. We can choose from our playlist. You can find a playlist. So you can enter a playlist URL here. Or you can choose from the list of playlists that you have. So let's take a look at some of these. Email marketing made easy. Free stuff Friday free videos we've already got. So we'll come in here, we'll just see if there's anything that makes sense for us here. And some of these are pretty old. YouTube ads, oh, let's go with YouTube ads tips. Now there's only one video in there right now, but that's okay, we're gonna put that in there anyway. And you can see this time we it comes in and it shows it on the side here like this, just a little bit, little bit different. When you don't have a lot of videos to make a nice vertical one, you can go this way and do uh, more of a horizontal look. In this case here, it's just because there's one video, but if we had multiples in here, it would put them into a, a row, which was what we saw on the Gillette page right here and right here. So it can look that way instead. And so that's just one of the things that we can do with that. And so once we're done with that, we've got all these beautiful sections in here. Now, each of these playlists, and, and if you want, you can go back, you can look at the playlist video that we created, and that's going to show you a little bit more about how to set up a playlist, but you'll notice that each of these playlists here has a nice description with it, okay? Some of them including links in the descriptions, etc., and that's going to help to optimize that channel. Um, these two here do not, so I'm going to need to go back in and add in descriptions specifically for the YouTube tips and probably for the iMovie tutorials, even though, again, this is a, a much older, this is from five years ago. But that's the basics of setting up a channel here. Now at the top, you'll notice that there's also a link to the website, just like we saw with Gillette. We've got Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And so if we come up here, you'll notice that in the pencil view here, it says edit links. That's going to bring us to the about section where we can actually add in our links, which are right here. And you can see we've actually got more links than we showed there. But you'll see you can add in a description, which I've got up here. If you're a local business, this is another opportunity to put in your name, address, and phone number to help get a citation for your Google My Business listing. Down here, you can put in a contact email, your location, and then any of the sites that you want to add. Now, of course, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. It's only going to show the first four. So that would be the main page here, the Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Now, if I wanted to have any of these, I could just move those up in the order, and that would put them into, uh, and you can, by the way, you can do up to five. So we're going to switch it to five here, and we're going to hit done. And so now these are the links that are in there, and when we go back here, you'll see now one, two, three, four, and five. So now we got five in there. So this one here is what, the free giveaways, I think? Yeah, get free music for your videos. And so all of these are put in here so that your channel not only has a description that will help it with SEO, but it's also going to give people an opportunity to click back to other pages or other websites so that you can get more traffic there as well. And so that's how you set this up. It's a great way to make sure that your channel has everything that people need in order to get organized information from you. You can prioritize what they see. And again, not only, by the way, this is a... Uh, for new visitors, this is what they're going to see, but you can also have for returning viewers, you can choose what you want them to see next. So we could come in here and we could remove that one, but I've got this how to use YouTube to get clients. I think that's a good second video for people to have, but you can choose a different one if you'd like to instead of that one, but that's the one that I have in there, so we're going to hit done. And you'll also notice that over here we've got featured channels. So these, these are some of my other channels like Animate Your Logo. This is that really bad one, the royalty free music, which probably should go away. Uh, Pro Web Hosting, James Wedmore, Amy Porterfield, so some of the people that I know 
and love are in there as well so that you can go to them um, and that's a great feature as well and of course once you have all of this set up you will be part of the elite because very few people actually have channels that are set up properly for uh, traffic and to make sure that their customers and their viewers get the best experience when visiting your channel. So hope you take this opportunity to do this to your channel. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. And we'll see you in the next video. Well, I hope this video helped you out, but if you need even more help, we've put together a set of free checklists that will help you to optimize your channel and your videos perfectly every single time. All you have to do is click the eye icon up here or click the link in the description down below to download your free checklists right now.